this man did not <laughs> i don't know he was just uh you know he just wanted to know my culture and stuff and i'm like dying over here he doesn't know that and i can't tell him how i feel about him because you know my religion and everything um i'm not a muslim woman is not allowed to fall in love with a non-muslim man and she's absolutely not allowed to marry him either so and i did not want it to go against the religion but i am just a human and my heart is in love hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel my name is asha i'm shay here's shay okay so our youtube channel is called asha and shay family so guys today we're gonna tell you how we met okay a lot of people have been asking me um to make story about it and how we met okay so as you can see i am an african woman muslim african and he's a white man from usa <laughs> so um when you left okay guys so um we're gonna talk about the question a lot of people always ask which is how we met so we met at our factory yeah, venture we worked together he's a technician and i was just a operator so um so guys um the machine that i'm working on if it breaks i have to like a turn on a light and then if he sees the light on he will come and fix the machine so the first time um when i light up the light and um he came and he was fixing the machine right so i was just watching him i don't know i just liked him instantly when i saw him first so i was just like watching him what he's doing and stuff and i was just trying to you know talk to him and stuff but this guy he always looks serious and um he wasn't that friendly and stuff you know he wouldn't he didn't show me the face you know for me to like you know <laughs> so um he didn't give me the face you know for me to shoot my shot did i say right yeah <laughs> so guys english is not my first language if i miss you know pronounce the stuff just know that okay so guys um i knew that this guy is not a muslim and uh i am not allowed to date outside of my um my religion okay um me knowing that and also knowing that uh we have different culture we are completely different different language and everything that made me back up a little bit and not you know go that quick so and every time i'll just you know wish that machine breaks down so he can come around and so i can come to uh, so i can get i can get to watch him whenever he comes around so guys uh it went like that for a while and uh this time around i tried to talk to him what was the first thing i asked you was it like what was it um i think about the machines and stuff and then we're talking about if we had kids, I, I didn't have any kids, but you had kids. And then uh, about different businesses we wanted to start and different vacations we wanted to go on. So and guys. Stuff like that and going to Africa and seeing that. So guys, um, as he said, we was asking, I, I was just asking him a bunch of questions, okay? Like if he got kids and stuff like that, if he was married and stuff like that. And he said, no, he doesn't got no kids. He's not. Okay, so guys, after that, that went for a while, okay? So um, I was worried that he might not, you know, like me because of maybe the way I'm dressed, which is like I'm supposed to cover my hair and everything. But um, he asked me um, why I'm covered my hair. And I explained it to him that it's my religion and, you know, a man is not supposed to see my hair except my dad my brother and my husband so he was more interested in my religion now and he was trying to get to know more so um i got him the copy of the quran you know the book so um 
I get him a copy of it and he was reading that book and um, the book is about Islamic religion and it's called Quran Quran so after him reading the after him reading the Quran now he will come every day and he will ask me questions about that book and uh, stuff that he will see in the book and I'll explain it to him and stuff so now we are more like you know friends and um, I'll say hi to him and he'll say hi and then every time we met up we'll smile for each other and stuff and I was so in love with him this man did not <laughs> I don't know he was just uh, you know he just wanted to know my culture and stuff and I'm like dying over here he doesn't know that and i can't tell him how i feel about him because you know my religion and everything um i'm not a muslim woman is not allowed to fall in love with a non-muslim man and she's absolutely not allowed to marry him either so and i did not want it to go against the religion but i am just a human and my heart is in love guys um so one day um it was super snowy and you know my car was frozen we both work night shift so in the morning when i come out i was you know what they call it scrape scraping scraping that car from the frozen snow right so he came and he was helping me and i was freezing i didn't have no gloves none of that so he told me um he packed his car right next to me on purpose <laughs> So he told me, um, you can get in my car. His car was already warm and mine was, takes forever to get warm. So I get in his car and he was cleaning mine. So he came to the car and he was asking me a bunch of questions. And then he said, can we meet up this morning um, in, you know, a cafe or somewhere we can go and just, you know, have breakfast and stuff. So I said, okay. So, so um, he asked me to go with him. Uh, for breakfast so we ended up going to breakfast and the restaurant was halal guys if you don't know halal a muslim is not supposed to eat none pure meat i don't know if i'm explaining it right but we are supposed to eat some different type of meat it's not, not different. different it's just, it's just pure muslim slaughter yeah so the uh, way they prepare it yeah so he googled a restaurant and then he found it it was halal and we went over there so we had breakfast and he was asking me a lot of questions and then now he want to see how we pray and everything and the mosque and everything and i think at that point he kind of like he had he had feelings for me like i could tell by <laughs> by the way he was talking to me how he was so guys um he asked me about the Islamic religion and everything and how we pray and everything so um, he said he wanted to see it so I called one of uh, my friend he was a guy and then he took him to the mosque because you know us in the mosque females pray in the back men's pray in the front and we don't enter the same door either men's have their own door entry and women have their own entry so there's no way i could take him in so i called one of my friends and he took him in the mosque and then um he was supposed to go see how we pray and how our religion is and stuff he come out and he was a muslim man okay <laughs> so he took the shahada he took the um how do you say it in english he converted okay he converted to islam so at that point okay so guys um when he came out as a muslim i did not believe him when he said he took he took the shahada i was so happy if happiness could kill i was so happy because i knew now he is like any other muslim man for me and i can get if i want to marry him i can marry him right away so um guys he didn't know I had three kids. I was married before. I'm gonna tell you how his reaction was when he find out about the three kids and how my family felt about him and how his family felt about me and how everything happened for party two. So please make sure you subscribe and you also comment and please come back for part party two because this is the one that is like 
oh my god you guys okay so thank you thank you guys for watching and thank, thank you, you for, for your watching. time and uh hope to see you guys again like subscribe like and subscribe <laughs>